This is what the life is. From outside. You know, see, we have a lot of drones. And uh, you fly the drone. And then we see the word from above. So that this is, you know, my grandchildren, my son, my honey, my friend, my enemies. We are looking our life as if from the drone above. That is not yeah. all about life. Life is much more than that. <laughs> so if yeah. we understand and we should understand what life consists of. So when we look at the life, we find the world outside appears to be different and separate from me. One is I. Second is the world outside. And third, uh, we have some wrong notion, good notion that there is a God, there is a supreme consciousness. But one thing is clear, that there is an existence because of which we exist. And so-called my life, your life, interacts with the world outside and somewhere we also, the existence interacts with us. How the interact, existence interacts with it? Unexpected result, unexpected challenges in our life. Everything is going fine and suddenly we have some problem. Suddenly we get more money, suddenly we get a news. So that is a part of the existence of which we are not fully aware and we also do not know too much about the world outside in which we live or in through which we interact. So the three bases, you see that I, the world, and the existence, the world of relations, situations, conditions, people, friends and enemies, wealth, possessions. Then we have started, we are not looking our life from the drone above. We are coming closer that what this life consists of. <clears throat> So let us pay a little more attention to that. <clears throat> what is this individual? Who this I am? So we have a notion that we have body, breath, mind, intellect. They all, as a unit, they go together, they form one unit, which is known as individual. So how that individual is formed by the name in the form. So you are N. So N is an individual. I am Girish. I is an individual. That I thought brings together body, breath, mind, intellect, thoughts, feelings, sensation, ideas, notions, situation, events all come together. I'm an individual. Where lies the problem? So once we understand this, an individual means one unit. It means a component or a part. So on one hand, Individual means indivisible, but at the same time, this individual is made up of many components, body, mind, intellect, ideas, thoughts, feeling, profession, occupation, relationship. So we never inquire 
whether there is any difference between I and my. <clears throat> we, we, we differentiate I and my car, I my house, I my money. But when it comes to the body, we forget I in my body. I say my body is me. Just see, contemplate, reflect, it's very clear, it's a logical. I in my watch. Ah, that's okay. I have separated. So when I say I am, I forget my body. I forget that I possess body. Wrong notion in the mind says my body is me. My mind is me. Recently, one of my friend, I don't want to name her, he sent me a message that uh, the Lai Lama asked a young boy to, 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 what? To put, to, to, to squeeze his tongue. What is your opinion? I did not respond. And my response was that first you become the Lai Lama, then you will get a response. Second option is that why you are entering into the gossip? Why don't you take care of your life? Third option that we instantly create an opinion. Our mind is relatively free to make an opinion about others. And that is the mind lives with the wrong notion. Just simple, individual. I say body, breath, mind, intellect, and ego, and I just brush aside. I in my car, I am 100% sure that my car is separate from I. Then why not my body is separate from I? My mind is not separate from I. My thoughts are not separate from my, my stress is also not separate from my. So with the wrong notion, I said, I am in a lot of stress nowadays. <clears throat> Where is the stress? Stress lives in the mind and the body and emotion. It is my body. It is my mind. It is my thought. It is my stress. So when the mind, due to the wrong notion, connects and believes that what is my is I, that is the cause of lot of stress, lot of stress. Individual means personality. Personality is the sum of body, breath, mind, intellect, and ego. And if we go a little further, what this body is made up of? Carbohydrate, protein, fat, minerals. Who outsourced this? The world outsourced for me. <laughs> we use the outsourcing. Who outsourced the world? Outside outsource. And this body is a perfect combination, permutation and combination of these carbohydrate, protein, fat, minerals. Ultimately, you have, we have, I think in chemistry, if I am not mistaken, we have discovered 108 elements. <clears throat> so carbohydrate, protein, fat is just a combination of these elements. And these elements are matter. <coughs> we are 100% sure. Element is matter. And the matter is dead. Matter is inert. 
So why I think that this body, which seems to be moving, is not a dead matter? So why shouldn't I separate in my knowledge that this is my body, my body is matter, matter is inert, I am conscious entity, why I am a conscious entity, it is very well established. What is matter, what is inert, cannot know itself, cannot know others. My mouse, mouse is a matter. Now see that where is the ignorance lies? This mouse, I consider it is separate from me, first thing. It is my mouse and still it is separate from me. Second thing, this is a matter. This is dead matter. But body is also made up of the dead matter. So I, my mind differentiates between the mouse and this body. No, no, no. I'm a living entity. How? Because the body is moving. So our master says, I have to constantly contemplate and reflect to have the right knowledge instead of a delusion that I am consciousness. That I am consciousness is separate and different from body, breath, mind, intellect, thoughts, ego. Then what is left? Who am I? I am the real self. What is real self? It is pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is like the infinite space that never changes. Your house is enclosed space. My house is enclosed space. Your house is an enclosed space. My house is enclosed space. And still the space cannot be divided. The space is always one. Do you see that? Pot space. There is a space inside the pot and the space outside the pot is essentially one. You destroy the pot does not mean the space inside the pot has merged with the space outside. They were one, they are one, they will remain one. Clear? So N is nothing but the enclosed consciousness. Girish is nothing but the enclosed consciousness. So everyone is in close consciousness does not mean that they have two different consciousnesses. Have you ever heard anyone said that your consciousness is different than mine? <laughs> consciousness is one, undivided, unlimited. <laughs> that consciousness is when it manifests in the pers personified as a human being is considered as a god and goddesses of the religion. But continue, see that. <clears throat> so I say enclosed space is your house. Enclosed space is my house. Similarly, enclosed Real self or enclosed consciousness is known by the name and the form and Hoffman. <laughs> enclosed space with the name and the form is known as Girish, known as Philip, huh? known as Wanda, known as Gabriel. <laughs> but the consciousness present in that enclosed space of the body and the mind is the same. You cannot have, you cannot even ever imagine 
that we all have different consciousnesses, which is wrong, which is false. The discovery of that unitary consciousness is the journey of awakening and realization. And that is the subject matter of mindfulness or meditation. So as long as I identify myself with the body, for, for, you know, you see, at one time I say, this is my house. The last month the faucet stopped working. I have to call it and spend a couple of hundred dollars to change the faucet. So the mind was agitated. Why? That my house became me. That, that needs to be understood. So when we are clear in our head, the knowledge is clear that wherever I use my is not me. You know, the guy living in my house, you already know. So I negotiated with the lease payment, so he got a Volkswagen SUV. So he was driving, and every time he drives, and I'm sitting, oh, this car is very good. This is my car. Now I cannot live without this. So I never say anything because he is not interested. So gradually what happens, my car becomes me. If something happens to the car, last point is very important. Once we live with that awareness, we are free here and now without doing any meditation. That is why known as mindfulness is an effortless natural, it is a non-practice. <clears throat> so my car becomes me. Now if anything happens to the car, it pains me. So my body becomes me. So there is a pain, I have a pain. My mind in ignorance never thinks. <clears throat> no, no, why are you saying like this? You know, my body has a pain, then why what should I say? I have a pain. Now I answer that question why we have a pain. So we science gives hundreds of causes. It says there are 100 causes of cancer in the body. And the 100 first reason, causes are still unknown. <laughs> <coughs> you have asthma, 50 causes. And the last one, 51st cause, causes are still unknown. Tell me any disease. Now, what we say? <clears throat> so we have divided, we have separated. One is consciousness and other is matter. Here lies the secret of mindfulness. Now tell me, in this material world, what is not changing? Change is the fundamental rule, principle, of this material world. Time changes, body changes, mind changes, intellect changes, earth is moving. What is not changing? Tell me. Sixty years ago, this guy was five years old. <laughs> Change Science says that every seven years, every cell of the body is replaced. You are not the same.
So uh, this this body has changed nine times. So when it has changed, how dare I can say that I am the body? <laughs> but consciousness remains the same. Do you see that consciousness remains the same? No, no. How can you say consciousness remains the same? Prove it. Yesterday you had a sound sleep. Today you woke up. When you woke up, that consciousness went into the mind, recognized that you are Anne Hoffman. And it has been happening every day. If that conscious entity is not present in us, we cannot recognize. Every time we wake up and I'm a man or a woman or I'm and or micro will have a confusion. That never changes. Do you see that? So that I, which is pure consciousness, did not change because it is never changing identity. <clears throat> and that is made up of peace and happiness. The body, mind, breath, intellect, ego are constantly changing. Every day, every moment, every second it is changing. So what our mind in ignorance has done, that it has declared what is changing is me. What is not changing, we don't recognize it. To recognize what is not changing at every moment is living in mindfulness. Is the meaning living from moment to moment? Why living from moment to moment? That consciousness is present everywhere. When I say I know you, I am conscious first, then I make a statement, I know you. If I'm not conscious, how can I make a statement? <laughs> See that? So everyone is living in mindfulness, we don't recognize. That is the problem. Why we don't recognize? Because we are living in ignorance. What kind of an ignorance this is? Do you, know, uh, do you know anything in deep sleep? You don't recognize where your body is, where your mind is. Or do you ever recognize in a deep sleep that do you have a body or the mind or the intellect or a thought or a name in the form? We're not talking of any religion, God or goddesses. We are just doing a self-inquiry to see who I am. Knowing or knowledge does not change. You know, we have a lot of uh, issues <coughs> in the last election about the alternative fact. Somebody made a remark that the truth can change. The truth is knowledge. Knowledge cannot change. So when I receive the knowledge free from the doubt, why there is no doubt? There is no chance from where we can change that. So consciousness we cannot change. We know the consciousness is never changing identity. We know I am conscious. That's why I know you. I'm conscious. That's why I know the word. I am conscious of the body. Uh, I, whatever I know through the mind is not me. I know the car. Car is not me. Give me any incident. Give me any instant 
whatever I know, you know Philly, but you are not Philly. You know Vanda, you are not Vanda. You know your house, you are not house. So what is mindfulness? So in the journey of the mindfulness, we say that you cannot know your real self through the mind in the sense organ. Because whatever will you know, will be separate from you. What should I do? Move the mind with it. <laughs> Live with it. <laughs> that is why we say, you see the paradox? We use the sense organ to look at the world. We have to shut off all the senses, including the mind, to see ourselves. <laughs> Close.